citizens welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Valerie and welcome to my channel um, so today guys um, we are doing my I caved I caved with the bricks <laughs> with the spring and summer bricks okay I wasn't gonna get them and I was just gonna throw them in my club as a bar as bars and try them and check them out and all that stuff and I just decided, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and get them. So I did. Um, I didn't get all of them, though. I got, I got, uh, I got four of them. Four out of the five. I did not get cucumber and cactus water because I don't like cucumber uh, scents. And I do not like cactus water, cactus water scents. So I did not, I chose not to get them. I have tried them in the past. And every time I get them, I just don't like them. Um, what was that cucumber and the bring back my bar one? What was that one? I don't know. I got that one and I just didn't like it. I do not like aloe water and cucumber at all. Um, it's okay, but it's, I mean, I just really don't care for it. So um, I've tried cucumber since I just don't like them. So I just decided I was going to skip that one and try the rest of them. So I got four of them. And then I also, when I placed the order, decided to do a six pack. So I did a six pack and these are scents that are, are all new to me. I've not tried them yet. Um, I have sniffed through them because you guys know I have no self control and I cannot wait to um, get to them. So um, let's do the six pack first and then we'll get into the bricks, all right? So the first one, I've been hearing a lot of good things about this guys. Mountain Sunset, and I already got my my dates on there, so Mountain Sunset, and it is, let me open it up, a pretty purple color, and the, the scent notes are Wild Blue Bell, Warm Woods, Coconut, and Golden Amber. I can't hardly read my writing. And this smells good on cold. A lot of here, I've been hearing a lot of people say this is like coastal, coastal sunset, is that it? Coastal sunset's like cousin. And this is the first time I smelt it and I kind of get that. It smells like a, it's got coconut in it. I can smell that. It smells nice it smells pretty but I'm not like gaga over it I love coastal sunset and I think coastal sunset's got sandalwood in it this does not have sandalwood in it it's got warm woods in it and I don't know I have some like bluebell um Mrs. Myers dish soap and um like all-purpose cleaner and I love that scent this does not smell similar to that so I'm not sure what real bluebell smells like but uh, so I'm anxious to warm that and try it and see what happens um, so far it's it's okay it's um, it, I like it it's okay it smells good I'm not like put off by it but I'm not like oh my gosh I gotta have this either so we'll see how that works out Okay, the next one, I heard so much about this last year. Everybody was talking about this one. Everybody was trying it and, and going on and on about it. And I never tried it. So this year when I seen it came, it came back, this was a limited time offer last year. And I think it was in the, I think it was like summer collection, guys, if I'm not mistaken. And um, so it came back in the catalog. So I, when I seen it in the catalog, I thought, I'm going to try it this year. And I'm trying to uh, actually um, do more catalog scents this year. I'm trying to kind of stay away from the LTOs and do more catalog. All right. So, Kikui and Coconut is, yeah. And it's a pretty, like, royal blue color. Scent notes are Tropical Coconut, Kikui Nut, and Soft Jasmine. And this is pretty. A lot of people say this is very similar to, like, the Bum Bum Cream. 
Boom Boom Cream, I'm sorry. <laughs> From Sol de Janeiro. And I, I can see that. I can see how that... I don't think it's exact, but I think it is like... Um, it does smell... Oh, excuse me. Similar. I do think it does smell, it does smell similar. Excuse me, guys. Gotta get a drink. <sighs> anyway, it does smell very similar to um, the Boom Boom Cream. Okay? So, I think I'm going to like this one. Alright, the next one, guys, is one of the new ones for this year. One of the ten new ones. It's Peace Lily Be With You. And I've really been surprising myself with green notes this year and floral scents this year. Um, those are the two things that I've kind of been really shocked at. Some things that I didn't think I would like, I've actually liked. So this is a pretty white wax. It has scent notes of white peace lily, green apple, watery greens, and vanilla. And this does, it has like, a greenness to it and it's not quite as green as what is it flower shop a floral shop one of their is what that is but it still has some of that in there and this has a little bit more floral than what that one does I think the flower shop smells I don't know more fresh but like more fresh like um and cool this is pretty it does have a floral but it's not like a heady overwhelming floral and then it's got that greenness in it that I'm really liking this year that's good that's very very pretty so I'm anxious to get that warmed so that is peace lily be with you Okay, the next one is also a new one out of the new 10 new ones this year. Raspberry Hibiscus Tea. And this one has a pretty raspberry color. Um, yeah, like a raspberry grapey color wax. And it's got wild raspberry, hibiscus petals, elderberry, and sugar. And this is good, and I really think this... Hang on a minute. I'm going to go get another bar. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. So, I went and grabbed uh, Raspberry Lollipop, which was um, part of the Easter collection last year. And I swear, this one and this one smell similar. But I want to I wanna see what the scent notes are on this Raspberry Lollipop. Oh, I don't have it on there. Okay, let me see. I just don't know why. I kind of kept thinking... They smell very similar. I <laughs> think they smell the same, guys. I really do. This has got wild raspberry, hibiscus petals, elderberry, and sugar. I swear, I think these are like smell, to me, they smell the same. This one may not be quite as sweet. This one's a little bit sweeter, I think. Yeah, I think they're close. I think these are cousins. I think this is actually brother. I think these are sisters. You know, I really do. So, um, let's, I don't know how it's going to do on warm, if it's going to be the same or not. But, uh, yeah, I think these. this is very similar. This is very similar to... Um, lolly raspberry lollipop so um, I'm gonna, that's gonna be interesting to try that to, I may warm uh, one of them in one of my room like in, in another room and then warm the other one like out here and we'll see um, I like to do that sometimes and kind of go between the rooms and see if, if there's differences as I'm warming them okay guys I got two more bars and both of these are limited time offers I did Break down and try these because they're both scents of the month, I believe. Yes. Um, I don't know what scent of the month they are, but the first one is Strawberry Lemon Cake. And it is a light pink color wax. 
scent notes are fresh strawberries, lemon zest, and vanilla buttercream. And I get, now on the bottom, I get some lemon. And not a lot. And I get a little bit of strawberry, not a lot either. And I do get like a bakery. I mean, not hot, not a big bakery, but there's a bakery note in there. And a sweetness. So, I don't know. We'll see how that works out. I've heard a lot of people say this is very light. I had to get it for myself and try. Because a lot of times people say things are light. I get them and I smell them just fine. So, so you know, everybody's smeller is different. And so you just got to check them out for yourself, I believe. So if you're really interested in something um, and somebody else can't smell it or it doesn't work out for somebody else, doesn't mean it won't work out for you. Um, so, or vice versa. Some things work out great for some people, you know, that um, say, hey, this is wonderful. And then you get it and you don't like it. So it just varies. You just have to almost try it yourself. So that was strawberry lemon cake. And then the last bar that I purchased was chamomile petals. I think this is scent of the month for April. I believe, yes. Because I think next month is Aloha Citrus. And I believe this was maybe March, if I'm not mistaken. Because this has got a pretty, like, uh, yellow, golden yellow color. Daffodil, maybe a daffodil yellow. And this has got chamomile, uh, chamomile petals, jasmine, and apple. And this smells very floral to me. Yeah, I don't know if it's the, the petal, the chamomile petals. I don't know. I didn't even know that that would have a floral note in it. I've had, I, I drink uh, chamomile tea from time to time. And I've never smelled like, or tasted or um, felt that it was perfumey. So it has to be the jasmine in there, I believe. That's kind of perfumey. And it's kind of, for me, it's kind of strong. I don't get like any apple in there unless it maybe come out, will come out in warming or is it just there to give some sweetness or to blend. And I'm not really picking up a lot of chamomile. So um, that is chamomile petal. So we'll try it and see what happens. Okay, those are my uh, bars that I decided to do a six pack on. And next time I place the order, I want to do another six pack and um, get some other scents that I've been wanting to try too. Um, then I want to stock up before the end of the season on the ones that I absolutely love. Um, so I feel like the season's like just going so fast. I don't know, the months, are, I can't believe the end of April's here already. Um, it's, it's just crazy. Okay, guys, so I got four bricks. Um, we're going to start with summer. I'm just going to go in the order that I've got them in here. Summer Berry Melon. And if you guys don't know, um, a brick of wax is about a pound. And this is a normal bar, so you can see the difference between... Let me get it this way so you can see a little bit better. See the difference and the size difference. If you purchase bar or bricks, you want to cut the, these in half or... And thirds or some people do quarters and um, put them in your warmers that way because uh, if you put the whole cube in it could be like a uh, wax in it it could be overflowing so you may want to do that all right so about five and a half five and three quarters of these make one of these all right so when you do a six pack on uh, your bars for regular bars, not licensed bars, it's $30. So you get like, you buy five, you get one free. Okay, so it's a really good price. Now, bricks, these bricks are now on my website for sale, $24 a piece. Or if you get two of them, two for 40. So it's a really good price. So about six of these would be 30. And it's going to be, if you buy one of these, it's going to be about six of the, these and you're paying 24. So you're already saving six bucks there. 
But then if you do a bundle, you're going to save even more. So that's like the best deal, really is. So these are being offered right now. Normally bricks are not offered. They're only offered um, in the, around the holidays for holiday bricks. And then in Scentsy Club. And this is only, I think, the second time I heard that Scentsy has offered spring and summer bricks. So this is Summerberry Melon, and it is a pretty um, medium pink color, kind of a rose color, rosy pink color. Scent notes are cassava melon, strawberry, raspberry, and pineapple. And I smell melon. I really do smell a melon. And I smell a fruitiness. A um, little bit of pineapple. Not overwhelming because I do not like pineapple. And I almost didn't get this one because of that. But then I heard somebody said it's like you don't really smell it in the forefront. And I smell a little bit, but it's more like a sweetener. It kind of sweetens it up, I think. Um, and it's got strawberry and raspberry. I smell a, like a pretty berry note in there with it. I've got this going in my house right now. And um, I just just started it like an hour ago. And it, I'm already smelling like a melon uh, berry scent through my, hot, through my open concept. And it's been nice. I used one cube. Um, I cut it in four and I got four different warmers going. Um, in my, I got one out in the kitchen. I got one here. I got three out here and it's, it's nice so far. I'm, I'm not, you know, complaining. So it's, it's, I kind of like this one so far and I'm not real big on watermelon. Um, I like watermelon scents, but they gotta be a certain, certain way, but so far this isn't too bad. So that is summer berry melon. Okay. I've heard a lot of hoopla about this one. Beach Daisy. Okay, first, Summer Berry Melon was a new scent. I believe that was a new scent, yeah. And um, this one is not. This one is just like an older scent that they brought back. Beach Daisy. And I've heard a lot of hoopla about this. Some people say they can't smell it. Some people say they do smell it. So, I got this going in my bedroom right now. And I haven't really went and checked on it. So, I'm not sure whether I can smell it or not. It is a pretty uh, yellow wax. Like a light yellow, it's not like dark. And the scent notes are honeydew melon, wild daisies, and green apple. And a cold, I can smell it when I'm sniffing it right here. I can smell it. I smell a sweetness. Not so much like a honey, like a melon, but well, maybe a little bit of a melon. Has it got the apple? Yeah, green apple. I can smell that. And a little bit of, a little bit of like floral. Not a lot. And I'm really getting to where I like fruity florals, guys. So I hope this one uh, does well. I use a half a cube in my bedroom. And I use it in, in uh, hot plate warmer. Back there, hot plate warmers. I cut that in two. I did half of it and I cut it in two. So I got a quarter of a cube and uh, two hot plate warmers back there in my bedroom. All right. So that's Beach Daisy, and so far I like it on cold, so I hope it does well on warm. So if you're curious on how they turn out for me, guys, um, watch what I've been warming. Um, I can't get these into my, my next brick warming session video, what I've been warming brick edition, because I've already filmed that one. So this one will probably be in the next one, um, so that may be a few weeks out yet. All right, so the next one, guys was Pink Apple and Nectarine. This is a new scent this year. I can get it open here. And this is kind of a coral. I'm going to say coral color. It's pretty. And then the scent notes are Pink Apple, Golden Nectarine, Wild Poppies, and Sugar Cane. And this was really good. I did this out in my open concept. I did one whole cube. Cut in four and four different warmers. And this was, I mean, like a banger. It was, it went for like four days in my warmers. I went, I started it on Tuesday and I just took it out a little bit ago. So four days and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. And <clears throat> sorry guys, I keep getting something dry in my, my throat. Just, ugh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got coffee and I've got 
diet root beer over here. So if you don't think you're crazy, if you see me take a drink out of this earlier and now I'm switching to coffee. So but I don't know. I keep getting a tickle in my throat. Um, anyway, uh, some people say they don't smell the nectarine in this. I smell the nectarine and it's beautiful. And I smelt the nectarine all four days. It's really wonderful. It's almost like that same nectarine scent that is in Ruby Nectarine, which is beautiful. But this isn't the same scent. It's different because of the wild poppies. It's got a little bit of a floral in there. It's sweet. Um, some people call it perfumey. Yeah, kind of. I do get a whiff of like, like a perfumey scent here and there. But I get a lot of nectarine. I really do. I really like this one. It was it performed good. It smelt wonderful. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one. Really, really did enjoy this one a lot. So this one, I am gonna. I know I'm gonna repurchase this one for sure. I want to get an, uh, um, this one before they go away. Um, so yeah, this one is definitely one that I. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try this again. Um, I got cut off because I don't know why my camera just cut me off. Ugh, it goes through periods where it does that. So I think my last scent that I was talking about was um, Pink Apple Nectarine. I think I finished up with that one. That I do like that one and I'm going to reorder. Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about is uh, Orchard by the Sea. Um, it's got scent notes. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue wax. Um, and like it's not dark. It's not light. It's kind of a medium pretty blue. Um, it's got apple orchard, sea salt, skies, crisp linens, and green mango. And this is really, really pretty, guys. I get a little bit of the linen. I get the apple. Mm. And it does, at times, while it's warming, it does have a woody note that does come through. And I think that's probably the apple orchard. I think the apple orchard is not just apples, but I think it is like the trees that are in there too. Because I did get some, not tons of it, but just a little bit of a woods note in there. This is pretty. I really liked it. Yeah, I used um, half a cube cut in two, in two warmers in my bedroom. And this was really nice. Um, this one was not near as strong. I mean, it was lighter than the pink apple nectarine. This one is very strong. This one was not as strong as this one. So I don't know whether it's going to hold up in my open concept. I'm going to try it. Um, if it's pretty decent in my open concept, I'm going to get another brick of this too because I did really like it. And I think it's got some uniqueness to it. Um, I got a lot of apple the first three to four hours. And then after that, um, I got a lot of sea salt probably until like um, the end of the second day maybe. And then I got um, sea salt and some wood notes in there. And then the third day, it's like some of that apple kind of came back into play. So this one is kind of ever changing. Um, there was a freshness about this. Um, so I really did like this. So this one I'm probably gonna repurchase. So I'm gonna rate these guys for you. So my, um, my la coming in last place, just because I haven't really warmed it yet, is Beach Daisy. And it's not because of the performance or anything, but it's just kind of like, um, I don't know, it's okay. I liked them. I liked all of them. But this one, um, it depends on the performance, whether it's going to come up in the ranks. Summerberry Melon would be third. I did really like that. Um, second is Orchard by the Sea. I really liked that one. And then my favorite was has been the Pink Apple Nectarine. That's absolutely my favorite. In bars, oh gosh, let me see guys here in bars. Um, I think uh, chamomile petals comes in last. It's just, it's, I think it's going to be too floral for me, but we'll see. Next in line would be uh, strawberry um, lemon cake. Um, it's okay, but I don't know how it's going to... Um, how well it's going to do. And I'm going to run out of time here, guys. Um, back again. I had to delete some stuff, guys, and I'm back. So let's see if I can finish my ranking on my bars. 
So, so far, uh, last place was chamomile petals um, and then strawberry lemon cake. And then um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say uh, probably Mountain Sunset is next. I like it, but I think I like Coastal Sunset a little bit better. But um, I have to warm it to see. And then the next one, I think Kikui and Coconut. I like this one as well, but I already have something that smells like Boom Boom Cream from Vendor Wax. So um, if it's a little bit different, maybe I'm going to really enjoy it. I probably really enjoy it, but it's just not anything new to me. Um, the next one, I think Raspberry Hibiscus Tea will be second because I really do like Raspberry Lollipop. And even this, if this is not like exactly the same as that, they're very close, I believe. So I'm kind of anxious to try that. But I think Peace Will Lily Be With You is my favorite so far. So which shocks me again because it's a green floral scent. So it, it, it just goes to show you guys, you've got to try things. And even if there are things that you don't like, you need to try them, okay? And I probably should have tried cucumber and cactus water, but I'm just afraid of getting another cucumber scent that I absolutely don't like. And I may eventually, I may go ahead and throw it in my club and try it, try it and see if I do like it. But I have so many other ones that I really, really absolutely do love. So I've been trying to do like a wild card type uh, uh, order. When I order, I'm trying to do like one or two scents that are like a wild card. Something that I would not normally try um, to push myself out of my comfortable box. And um, yeah, and and because you never know. Um, and things, sometimes I've, I've done that, like the chamomile petals. I probably would, that was like my wild card. I, I may love it. Who knows? I've been really enjoying more florals. Um, but then again, I may not. So anyway, I'm going to get off here before my camera shuts off again. Um, and, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And I always thank you guys so much for everything. Thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting and sharing. Um, it means the world to me and it really does help me out. And I appreciate you each and every one of you so very, very much. And if you're new guys and it's your first time here, um, we'd love you to join our fam. Click the subscribe button before you leave. Click the notification bell and click all so you're up or so you're notified of all my new uploaded videos so you don't miss anything. Because we always got something going on over here. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. And uh, take care, be safe, um, and be happy and be healthy. But mainly be safe because we live in a crazy world, all right? So I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.